assumption negation test remember a correct assumption should fill the missing link between the premise and the conclusion and it is something which is necessarily true for the argument to hold assumption always strengthens an argument and when made negative it voids the argument this is a property that you can use for testing valid assumptions on gmat however this should be a backup strategy because the assumption negation test does take extra time let's apply it on a live example here is an argument and here is the missing link the gap between 15% gdp growth and the conclusion that the party has performed well should stay in power look at this answer choice gdp growth is an important factor in deciding the performance of a political party if you are not able to decide whether this is a fine assumption negate it and see if it is an assumption the argument should become void gdp growth is not an important factor in deciding the performance of the party put this in the argument the argument goes completely haywire because the conclusion is based purely on the gdp growth and if gdp growth were not important the argument is void so yes this is something that fills the missing link and must be true for the argument to hold this is a fine assumption another example the same argument the same missing link another answer choice once again if you are not able to determine whether this is a fine assumption negate it and see whether the argument becomes void negating it would lead to gdp growth is not the most important factor in deciding the performance of a political party did the argument go void no because even if gdp is not the most important factor it may still be one of the important factors so while this answer choice fills the missing link would qualify as a fine strengthening statement it does not qualify as an assumption one more example the same argument same missing link a different answer choice if you are not able to determine whether this is an assumption negate it and see during tenure of certain previous government the gdp grew by more than a number which is greater than 15% this answer choice is suggesting that previous governments did not lead to a higher growth the negative of this would be that in past other governments led to a higher growth does this completely make your argument void no because that 15% is the highest ever gdp growth is not a fact that must be true for the argument to hold so once again while this answer choice fills the missing link would qualify as a fine strengthening statement it does not qualify as a fine assumption this was the concept guys gmat shorts are deliberately kept brief for an elaborate explanation please refer the stage 1 videos thanks for watching